Zoológico, 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 zoológico. Zoológico, the Spanish word for zoo. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. Moses and I, uh, we couldn't do the fix up that we needed to do. Right behind us, if you didn't see the last video, go check that out now. At the end, you'll see that I busted a pipe. So, all of this back here, Moses and I, we uh, cleaned up yesterday, and we're trying to plant grass, except I, in the last part, the very last part, busted the pipe. So, uh, we're gonna get that fixed right now. Here's to uh, another day with Moses in the house. Where are you going? Goodbye, Moses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ciao. 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 Love you. Ciao. Ciao. Love you. So, luckily, our church here uh, has really good neighbors because yesterday the neighbors called us and said that there was a, a break in here. So, going to check it out. We were here yesterday with the uh, policeman, but it was at 10 o'clock right when the quarantine started. So, I'm gonna check it all over again and uh, tell you about uh, the message for today, which is. Which is be kind. I went to a leader the other day and it's definitely not the same. There's a line and then they take your temperature to make sure that you don't uh, have any sickness and especially the COVID-19. Boy, why does that come off my tongue first instead of uh, COVID-19? Hmm. Guess I've said it in Spanish a few more times in English. Anyways, um, be kind to people. If somebody is in line and uh, they want to go first and they're really anxious, just let them go first take your time because other people apparently they just want to get in and out and so do I but we want to do it in a safe way and in a way that is showing kindness to other people. I think that uh, especially now it's easy to be really uh, mean when you go out and uh, it's, it's easy to yell at somebody because we're all on edge. We all just don't know about uh, what's going to happen. Luckily here in our uh, church, this is just a, a room of our church, uh, nothing was taken, but uh, we're going to take some more measures here so that uh, nothing will be taken in the future either. Um, but these are certainly some, uh, some crazy times and uh, I think it's important for all of us to show some, some serious, genuine kindness to other people. In the last video that I had, I talked about um, our zoo here in Linares that could use some extra help because those animals need food and uh, with nobody coming into the zoo, it's hard to uh, generate any revenue. So I'm gonna leave that link right below as well. I'm sure there are other uh, organizations as well that are showing kindness, but this message is for everyone, including myself, to uh, just remember to be kind to others, even when uh, there's a pandemic going on. <laughs> Luckily, we don't really have much in the church to rob, but uh, it's just never uh, super unsettling, of course, whenever you come to uh, your place that you always come to and somebody broke into it. Luckily, nothing stolen. Life goes on. Better security, here we come. It's, uh, it's Marraqueta time. But I'm interested in you guys. What are some good things that are happening around you, wherever you are in the world? Maybe there's somebody who is uh, helping somebody else, somebody in line that you saw that uh, let somebody else go first. What's something good that's happening around you guys? I wanna hear it, leave it right below or check me out on Instagram, send me the videos. I wanna hear everything good that's happening because in a world right now where things are up in the air and it's easy to be frustrated, easy to be just grumpy, 
I want to share some of your stories that are happy stories from wherever you are please let me know and videos are always best so check me out on instagram that link is is right below all right i'm gonna i'm gonna eat this it looks so good so i have no idea where we are in the video but elise just said something that i don't think she's ever said in her entire life in that she would be a guest appearance person in this video because because we're having a fight <laughs> and I want to hear your opinion on this. So you better take my side. John Athen Walter Gross is the only person I know. I didn't I'm... want to give away my middle name. It's the only person I know who takes his ice cream and heats it up before he eats it. And I would like to say that that is weird and that no one else does that. How perfect is it when you have a brownie, which is in the little microwave thing right now, right back here, and then you put a little bit of ice cream on there and then the ice cream is just melting over that warm brownie. So, so good. What do you think? I'm gonna put a little, uh, uh, what do you call that? A little uh, thing up here. No, up here? I don't know, somewhere up there where you can vote. Which one do you like better? Heat it up with the ice cream or heat it up without the ice cream? I'm pretty sure heat it up with the ice cream is going to win. No, you don't heat ice cream, it's cold. Yeah, just a little warmer though is the best. No. And she'll never be on the vlog ever again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So, something that I'm super grateful for are these programs that are around now to give families food. And even though Elise and I are super blessed and a lot of this is going to get donated to families who actually really need the food right now, who just have no way of getting to the supermarket or don't have a job right now, it's still, it's really special to get something and uh, have it really well thought out of things that could be useful. Like this, flour for pan amasado. It's always useful here in Chile. We've got eggs this time. That's different than the last time. We never had eggs. We have potatoes and carrots, always useful. Oil, also useful. Black beans. Oh man, Moses would love this. We have some apples, lots of apples, a zucchini. We have some noodles, salt, uh, a piece of a uh, pumpkin, and milk. This is all so, so awesome. I just appreciate this so much. It just, uh, I think it just builds my, um, my excitement, my joy level a little bit higher because I can go and get this food. I don't have to go and stand in lines at the supermarket. I don't have to worry about the money that I'll be spending. And uh, Moses really enjoys the food that comes in these uh, canasters and um, I appreciate it too. Some of this I'm gonna give away to people who need it. Um, some of it might go bad really quickly, so we might eat like these eggs here. But uh, thank you uh, government for uh, helping us out and helping the Chileans out and everybody who sends their kids to public schools. Really, really appreciate that. But more than that, I'm really happy that our church is okay, nothing was stolen, and be careful right now. I've heard of a lot of robberies happening around Chile right now. As people are losing their jobs, they need to uh, find a way to live. So make sure you're being careful. I don't know how you can rob a house when you're supposed to be inside of it, but it happens and you have to leave like I did and go and get food and things like that. So just be careful and most importantly, spread kindness however you can spread some kindness spread some joy today and uh that's my challenge for you check me out on instagram facebook and twitter all of those links are right below and we'll see you guys next time for another adventure but for now from my oh it's so heavy massive bag of food 
We'll see you guys next time. Ciao, Pascal. Whoa.